Hi, I'm Jason Cohen, and I practice in San Jose, California with my partner, Dr. Eric Phelps, and I'd like to introduce you to an interesting case we treated in the How Would You Treat This Malocclusion. This 61-year-old male presents with a chief complaint of, I'm having trouble chewing, and my bite seems to be getting worse. The patient is also motivated by a daughter working in the dental field who has concerns that he could be experienced tooth loss if his malocclusion is not addressed. The medical history is non-contributory. He has a history of routine visits to a dentist, but only recently started seeing a new dentist who also recommended an orthodontic consultation. A clinical TMJ evaluation displays normal range of movement without any pain, popping, or clicking. The patient is very motivated to improve his occlusion. On the frontal facial photo, the patient appears symmetric with thin lips and 0 to 2 millimeters of interlabial gap at rest. When smiling, the patient displays 90% of his maxillary incisors and has lingually inclined maxillary premolars creating prominent buccal corridors. His smile is symmetric with wear evident on the maxillary incisors and canines. He has a convex profile and a strong chin button. The patient presents in the permanent dentition with significant maxillary and mandibular incisal wear. His maxillary midline is coincident with the mid-sagittal plane and the mandibular midline is deviated three millimeters to the left of the maxillary midline. The maxillary arch is relatively U-shaped. There's two to three millimeters of maxillary arch length discrepancy. The mandibular arch is significantly omega-shaped with severely displaced lower premolars. There's 13 millimeters of mandibular arch length discrepancy and an exaggerated curve of speed. He presents with complete buccal cross bites of the mandibular premolars and an impinging deep bite. He's class one molar on the right and left with severely worn mandibular incisors and moderately worn mandibular canines. His mandibular premolars have erupted lingually and have two to three millimeters of exposed root surfaces. Due to the position of the mandibular premolars, the maxillary first premolars have super erupted two to three millimeters and the second premolars have super erupted one to two millimeters. The maxillary and mandibular molars display very little wear. Cephalometric evaluation reveals a class two malocclusion due to a retronethic mandible with retroclined upper and lower incisors and a reduced mandibular plane angle. The panoramic radiograph reveals general symmetry of the right and left condyles and mandible. He has an impacted maxillary right third molar and erupted maxillary left third molar. His mandibular third molars are not present. The sinuses are clear and no pathology is noted. How would you treat this malocclusion?